What is up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you for clicking on this old mug. Allow me to use my outdoor experiences to better yours. Now, today, lovely weather we've had here in the great state of Texas. And uh, we're going to take advantage of it to do some scouting today. We have brought out the John Boat, as I mentioned last time in that last terrible fail of a video. One of the reasons I got this bad boy was to do some scouting in some areas that I can't typically reach. And so that is what we're going to do today. I've got a couple spots mapped out. Brought my boy Lalo with me. We're going to do some scouting for this upcoming deer season that starts here very soon. And I've been on a mission to get a deer out of Sam Houston National Forest for four years. It's been tough, little success. It's really hard. You have to get an antlerless permit to shoot a doe during rifle season. Outside of that, it has to be a legal buck, which in Texas is a little tough to come by on public land. Hella pressure. I don't have a bow. I said I was gonna have get a bow by this year, but I did not get one, have not got one. Maybe next year, ended up getting a bow, started a YouTube channel and here we are. So. I ain't too mad. We've got rifle season coming up. We've got some scouting to do. I got the boat. We've got Lake Conroe. Let's get to it. All right, failure number one. Got to a spot that I saw on the map. Thought I was gonna be able to launch a jumbo, even if I had to carry it, but uh, man, these water levels, I thought they made a comeback, but uh, not the case, so. We're gonna pack it up and uh, hit the next spot. Like I said, what I wanna do today is do some scouting. I've got the boat got the truck kind of just want to hit some areas that i wouldn't normally be able to get to by land and that i can easily access with the little jumbo that's one of the purposes of getting that bad boy is to do just that thing is i was hoping to be able to kind of low-key bring the jumbo in here but uh even if i carry it we've got a little water problem here i ain't walking through that stuff i don't have weighted like... so we're gonna keep after it try to find somewhere to launch this bad boy and hit a couple of these spots that i found main thing is scouting 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 scout scout you got to do your scouting if you want to get some deer on public land. Spot number two is uh, another. Dud. A dud. Uh, uh, we're just going to have to go to a that say? This. What does that say? This, a better outdoors is not allowed. Wow. This seasonal road is closed to motor vehicles from September 15th to March 15th. Area closed to camping September 24th to January. Huh. For hunters. I swear I read the other thing to me. All righty, folks. I tried, man. I tried to find a spot where I could just dump this old bad boy, but we're ditching this thing. Uh. And we're gonna hike it. We're gonna hike it. So I'm still trying to get to the same spot, except now we're gonna do it by foot, which is what I was trying to avoid this whole time. There is a boat ramp like on the other side of it that we could access it, but that boat ramp is like a 40 minute drive. So we're gonna be healthy and active and hike it up. Got some trail cams with me. I'm not sure if I'm, dang. Been doing, these trails been doing this bad boy dirty. She's been holding up the, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to dip her in some water before the end of the day, for sure. So yeah, I got some trail cams that I brought. I don't know if I'm gonna set them up. We'll see, but I'm gonna take them with me and uh, see if we can find ourselves a good little spot. So stay along for the journey. All right, so we've been walking for a little bit. And I uh, came up on a little body of water. Nah, I do, but see, it's behind those, that line of yellow trees. I want to try to get to it. I did not get a old machete. Cut that way. So it's going to be a little tough trying to bushwhack through some of this stuff. But I do want to see if that, but that little pond has water in it. So let's see if we can find a little path to get to it. Oh, yeah. Right here. Clearing. Clearing. You wanna go for it? Always. All right. Clear of uh, animales. You go first in case you drive. Yeah. Ow. You gotta watch out for gators over here. Some waterfowl. Okay, it's pretty rough. I've got, I've, there's hooves all over the place over here. You think if we set up on this lake anywhere, really, something would come, right? Alligators. But like, dude, so there's, there's prints kind of all over here. Like, I think if you were just to set up on any of these trees, again, I got climbing sticks now, so I can get up a tree and just set up there. Something is going to come to the bank of this, either that morning or that evening. Cause like, even look right here, like all this stuff. I don't think this was man-made pushed down where this stuff is. 
I think some deer might have been slept up in there. And look, see, there's a little hoof print right there. Not a very big one, but. See, that looks like it was one slot too, right? Correct, all this little busted down stuff. So it's not terrible, definitely not terrible. You know what, I'm gonna mark this little pond down. It was a bit too easy of a hike to get up here, to be honest with you. That's some pretty clear water too, bro. You know what a subscriber commented and said, suggested? Mm -hmm. Get on the, on the sticks and the platform, climb a tree and fish from the tree. Oh, see, that's fish jumping out. Yeah, I heard it, I didn't see it. I saw it. No, there's definitely fish in here. I thought it was one, less water, and two, smaller, but this is a decent sized little pond. All right, so first spot we checked out is this little pond back here. Pretty nice pond, dried up just like every other body of water here in a good old great state of Texas. I've never shot out of a tree stand, but I'm tempted to just set one up on maybe this pine tree right here. Just overlooking this bad boy and just come on. Are you telling me I'm not gonna see something? So first spot, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. It was a little bit too easy to get here out. Not to be depicted by this little trail, but it was pretty, pretty easy to get here. I'm pretty sure it's heavily hunted because it is a pond in the middle of the woods. So I don't know, we're marking it. We're gonna keep going to where I actually wanted to go, which is still another 15, 20 minutes up. So we're gonna keep stomping. My daughter loves using this thing so much. It's like a child now every time I use it. Definitely starting to see. That's a trip. Ran into this little shanty. Now I'm scared to step on a booby trap or something. Watch your steps. I was gonna say, I was definitely starting to see a lot more trash and stuff. It looks pretty old though. Those ashes don't look too old. Yo, this is a trip, dude. I wonder when was the last time somebody stayed there was. Dang, there's gloves over here, bro. We have uncovered uh, a murder. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Someone spent some time building this. Well, you never know what you find in the damn forest. That's about as, as weird, cool, crazy as I've seen, I think. I've seen some nasty stuff. Well, this is uh, the little inlet of Lake Conroe. My original plan was to pull the jumbo actually to about right here, but... As the water levels are pretty low, I can't get through this little island right there. That used to be water to where I can get in through there. And I can't, so I'd still be able to get the John boat over there. Damn, but hella like mud booted up. Hey, another idea is just to be set up on one of those trees. Looking over this little dry area, see if we see any action on this dirt over here. Yeah, it's a couple little hooves and holes here and there. Nothing too fresh, but I see a bunch of paw prints. So, not a bad idea. Same concept as that little pond earlier, which I've never tried before. I don't even know if it's a good idea. Would to be set up on one of these trees, kind of overlooking this bank, and see if something comes out to take a little sippy sip. Because what we originally came for, which is a little, what I thought was like a meadow, is uh, not that. It's quite the forest, so that is out of the uh, question. And there's quite a few little trails going down the bank. Here's some little oink rooting up. And even this whole area is kind of laid down and rooted up. It's a good old Texas wild hog. Let me know if you guys want to see some wild hog hunting. I ain't done that in a minute. We can get some of that going here. Especially when it starts getting cool like this. It isn't the worst. They don't smell like it. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. All right. We finally made it, man. I was two, two, three miles in? No, two miles in. Two, two miles in, two miles out. Break. Alrighty, folks. That is gonna do it for this video. Man, we've been getting after it all day, trying to find somewhere to hunt this season. It is coming up in, I think, two, two weeks. So we've gotta get on something. We found a couple spots, nothing very promising. A little pond I might check out. Didn't leave the cameras anywhere. Didn't feel comfortable doing it. Found where Sasquatch lives. Found where not to hunt. Finally got the boat in the water. Water was super choppy. It's a little chilly here, but man, it was choppy. I got a 12 foot jumbo, folks. It's not meant for choppy water. So we kind of didn't make it to where we wanted to go to, but we did fish a little bit unsuccessfully. As usual. But good day outdoors. So we're gonna call it a day, I think. Maybe get some lunch, got an Astros game, go Stros. And yeah, call it a day, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Get a video, thumbs up, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. We're off to see the wizard, the magical wizard of Oz.